fire even faster than the bacon, mm -hmm. then you are immediately at a huge frame disadvantage because he lands and has no lag and you just got hit with a move. So And then you're cooked? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I liked your deadpan delivery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it, it, it just like hit me at the last second there. Like you, I got no, okay. like a no, 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 no. You know. <laughs> anyway, so going into this next match, we have <laughs> R3's very own Sosa versus Ephes Frozen on uh, Weed Map Stadium. Yep, we're gonna. We, there's a reasonable chance to see a lot of this SoCal, which has a reasonable contingent in this uh, in this Invitational. Loves Pokemon Stadium. Too. Oh yeah. We, we're, we're Sosa loves it. IPK loves it. Um, a few others who aren't here love it. So <laughs> probably gonna see a lot of weed maps. Uh, hopefully, even more in the future after this tournament. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Frozen going into those punishes. Whipping them. Up. Wow, and this is actually a, the last prediction. time we the last time we saw this uh this. Frozen Mewtwo is a uh, it was against Blade Wise's Peach and Wario a completely different beast altogether. Yeah, um, for every amount of aerial mobility that Peach lacks, Wario has it. Wario can basically dash dance in the air just by going backward and forward. Incredible air control, so he can definitely mix up Frozen's uh, ranged aerial moves, um, which are not the fastest, but. Frozen definitely showing himself capable in this matchup as well. And also, Wario able to get Meteor punishes. Meteor. Not Meteor. Not Meteor. No, no. Wow. He eats the walk. It's not a thing you'd really want to eat, to be honest. No. Nope. But. Yeah, Wario showing that he has great punishes, on, or I guess Sosa specifically, great punishes on Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sosa known for extending his punishes as far as possible. Tech chases against Fast Fallers, uh, straight combos against Floaties. Jab, jab, tech chase. And going for the up B, uh, just ridiculous spots. Yeah, extra percent. Tack it on, stack it up. Telling his opponents, pack it up. And scrub that in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Shout, shout out to Arizona. All right. Shout out to Arizona. Uh, interesting bite going in there. Yeah, it gets the DI right. Nice, and you can see that Wario was able to just kind of extend out there with that back air and still be able to get the ledge, so Mewtwo had to like basically recover on stage. Yeah, his aerial mobility makes his recovery amazing. Like, not just his neutral game, not just his punish game, also his recovery. Because if you if you don't know whether he's going to be right in front of you or three feet away from you... Wow, what a read. Speculative waft does not work out, but I think Sosa's of the opinion, use it, it comes back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... You know, if you sit there and you don't let your WAF continue to charge, you get less uses out of it overall. If he had taken that stock and begun building up another WAF, it would have been curtains, basically. Frozen. And he actually got the read. It's just that, unfortunately, he just kind of almost mistimed it. Right, a little early. Maybe would have caught um, just neutral get up. Yeah. Perhaps. Oh. Yeah. So, so and you know, the thing that we saw Bladewise was unable to do because Peach has limited aerial mobility, couldn't just get in Mewtwo's face and chase him down. No, not at all. So this is all about that right now. And Wario is just kind of like that abrasive character, kind of like how his personality is just in your face, like wah, wah, wah. He <laughs> has no problem just wah, wah, wahing anywhere in your like vicinity and just making you feel uncomfortable. But while we've been talking about Wario, uh, he's been getting pummeled by this Mewtwo. Multiple back airs carrying him towards the edge of the stage. Um, put on a ton of damage, which is good. It gives him the opportunity to just grab, up throw, and kill Wario. Oh, wow. Great chase there from Frozen going with the upbeat to, the, to that back air, pushing him off stage. And a, a throw I'm pretty sure will kill Pokemon Stadium 2 with a weed map stadium. Pretty low ceiling. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty much even game. We'll see what Sosa can get off his invincibility. Oh my 25%. gosh. Great Not chaser bad. from Sosa. And he does have that watch back. And he uses it to finish off the game. That was an incredible like chase down because it was just necessarily two grabs or two bites. Mm -hmm. Push him off the stage and then follow up with a waft right there. Right. And if he had waited maybe 20 seconds for another opportunity to use that first waft, he wouldn't have had that. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, he... he he very well could have died in 20 seconds with no way to finish off that stock. But 
He had it on the ready. He yeah, did. Sosa always on the ready. Great Boy Scout. I'm sure he was as a child. <laughs> Be prepared. Okay, aggressive opening there from Frozen. Just kind of going in there with the up B. Yeah, Wario, one of the few characters who can really follow up on YouTube. But um, Peach is, you know, being really floaty, being able to get out with the teleport. Um, but um, Wario also generally difficult to follow up on. YouTube with so much mobility and, yeah. uh, you know, kind of, you know, the hover cancels, that kind of thing. Also able to follow up on Wario, so it's a game of two characters that aren't really used to getting comboed, getting comboed. And it's kind of cool because I love the way that Frozen was moving in neutral there earlier. He was, it, it's like a, it's like a weird, awkward dance. It's like one of those, uh, where you <laughs> like, Wario's just kind of like just chasing his partner and Mewtwo just kind of like floats back with up airs and nares and just kind of inviting him, like, come on in, come on in. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. he gets the grab. And it's over. A lot and that killed it, you know, what, 113? Something yeah. like that. He kills pretty, pretty low percent. You see there, I guess Frozen not, yeah, I guess that, not, that, not a stranger to getting wafted too. Yeah, that's a waft confirmed. Um, Frozen taking stage control immediately. Look at those back airs. Oh my gosh, taking him all the way off the edge of the stage with that tail. And bye bye Wario stock. Yeah, that was so speedy. That's a uh, Jigglypuff esque. Yes, very much. Back air, back air, back air, back air. You're dead. And it's kind of funny because Wario is kind of almost known as an ana analogous ugly Jigglypuff for PM. <laughs> yeah, he's like Jig Jigglypuff plus. Yeah. Uh, plus some weight, you know, plus size. And plus uh, a really <laughs> big nasty mustache. Yeah, and definitely plus killing power. And a waft. Maybe you minus a little bit of recovery. Ooh, and this might be a plus stock, but Frozen gets out of there. <laughs> yeah, unable to confirm. Frozen is a slippery psychic Pokemon. Mewtwo is so hard to kill. Yeah, especially with those tough. Ooh, great reaction. Uh, Shoulder Bash, one of those moves where as long as you're not doing anything, punishing it is super easy. But Wario's will throw it out when they expect you to preemptively do something, which they can force you to do with that incredible aerial mobility, threatening lots of aerials all the time. Wow, what the hell, Mewtwo? Going in for the down air, getting the tech chase read, and then killing off that stock with an up throw. Yeah, Frozen has completely turned turn things around in game one. I like that choice. They're making Wario jump up, or and then getting, uh, getting punished right there. But that, that was a very interesting setup with the Shadow Ball. Yeah, forcing him into the air where he can be Joe. Huh. Awkward trades all around. Things that nobody really wants to part with. No, it's just uh. Okay, yeah, it's, there, there are so many trades. <gasps> wow, just stops him right in the middle of those waft. That's the second waft that Frozen has denied Sosa. And that Mewtwo going deep there for that edge guard misses it, but. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that was a. Cool punish. That was that was incredible. Down air, down air. <laughs> uh, go get him with the shadow claw. And and he floated there for so long. It was reminiscent of the the falcon. Yeah. Cla falcon classic stomp knee. Except kills off the top. And it's it's damn cool to look at. <laughs> yeah 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 for sure. All that that purple energy, that floaty psychokinetic power. <laughs> not not psycho power. Psycho copyright Capcom. Yes. Uh, psychokinetic pow power, pretty sure copyright mobile. Okay, so we're going here to, uh, I forgot what the name of this, uh, this particular stage is, this variant for the tournament. I think it's actually just called Battlefield. Is it just called Battlefield? <laughs> Battlefield oh. and Final Destination were left alone, um, oh. because, what, what, do you, what do you do with them? <laughs> uh, you make them look damn cool. Look at that yeah, you background. Make them all purple yeah. and sweet. Shoutouts to Courtney Kaufman, a.k.a. Zesty, who's running the stream right now. Also made this entire build for us in honor of our sponsor. Team Balcony always putting on a great production value for a lot of their tournaments. Yeah, definitely follow Matt the Balcony for more stuff like Wario up smashing Mewtwo with its promising remarks head. Or Mewtwo attempting the recovery. Oh! Punch to the gut. That's the, that's the type of punch that you just... You suffer as a, like a kid, maybe once or twice when you get your, that first fight, and then you just like remember it for the rest of your life. Yeah, absolutely. You're always scared of that like turnaround a maker, and, th and then they just hit you with jabs for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor. It's a deep one too. Hey, oh. what's a metaphor though? <laughs> but uh... what's a forward air? Great <laughs> kill there from Frozen. Up being out. That's the type of follow up that you're gonna see a lot of. It's, it's almost pillar esque, where you just carries them up to the stop, and then just kills off the forward air. 
Okay, using the side B to stall. Um, Sosa not waiting. And waiting a little too long with that walk. And maybe Sosa's actually... I've noticed so far that Frozen is doing a lot of horizontal, straight oh. horizontal. Oh, wow. What What even... I, it was a perfect shield on that on that shoulder bash, and then it just a down smash just for the heck was? of it. it I thought like, it was a move that planked, but I think you're right. It must have been. Yes, and as, as I was saying earlier, Frozen not afraid to do this a straight horizontal up B is on recovery and an approach. Oh, getting in close. Definitely tough to react to. That was not a strong clap. Maybe it was. I don't know. That seems strange because it, it seemed too high for the weak clap. But a strong clap kills at like 80, so <laughs> I guess. <gasps> wow, stolen right from under him. That ledge is gone, and it's yeah, belonging was, to Wario. That was definitely the uh, pink guy ramen noodle. Instant edge guard in a package by Mario And at one, I guess it was at 120 before the launch, it, uh, it kills. Yeah, you, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Sorry, well, Wario. Thanks for playing. And your obituary says that you left all of your treasure in uh, Sosa's <laughs> hands. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, for some reason, your will is signed Wario. I don't get it, but you have to honor. Uh, Just like Frozen has to honor that walk because it's now off the table, but he needs to be able to predict when it's going to come out. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, once again with the bear, the schoolyard bully gut punch. Ambitious landing there with the dare. Oh, frozen, I think messing up his movement a little bit. Unable to continue that punish. But still 67%. Now on the losing end of the combo. And there's that delicate dance that I was talking about earlier where it's just kind of frozen, standing right inside his range and just kind of baiting him in. Look at that. I mean, you're a dancer. You probably have seen a similar <laughs> grotesque I've seen a little bit like it. Yeah, it's uh, more cooperative than competitive. But uh, there are definitely similarities. Um, it's like, yeah, kind of like a rhythm, movement. right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, between these characters, that, um, you know, there's a tempo, there's a pace that they're feeding off of each other. Like, when can I go in based on when I see my opponent pull off a move? Oh, last stock here. Oh, goodness. one one apiece. <gasps> oh, balls him out on sitting down. Can't be a wallflower in this dance. And it's over. Not yet. This ceiling You're is just, right. It's oh a little my bit higher. Wario is super heavy. I can't believe that that didn't kill him. <gasps> but he can't get another one like that. And this is going to be really oh, close here. Okay. Oh my gosh. No tech chase from Sosa. And there's the bear. That's it. Wow. Frozen beats Sosa in an extremely <laughs> narrow victory. And he pops off well earned. Well earned to Frozen. Leaving Sosa in the cold. And now we're going into our next match. That was pretty were, cool. Yeah, there were a number of, of decisions. Last stock, you know, that was, that was um, winner's stock for both of them. Yeah. There were a number of decisions that showed nothing of nerd. The 100% confident, the way that, that he teleported to Tech Chase Sosa. Um, 